So you're an entrepreneur, right? You want to start a business? Well, guess what? The economy's a little squirrely, and although you have a dream to start a business, there are five reasons why that business you want to start this year is going to fail. Well, I wrote the book called Multiple Streams of Income, and yes, real estate is a great way to make money, but businesses also. We just wanna make sure that we watch out for the five signs that our business might be failing so that we can make our business succeed. Did you know that according to Zipia, 22% of business startups fail in the first year and 50% of new businesses fail within the first five years? In a market of constant flux, there are several signs that you can identify in a failing business and fix them before it's too late. Hey, Mistake number one, you assume superiority. Are there some names you might recognize like Kodak, AOL, Blackberry? What happened to them? They got to the top and they didn't stay there, did they? They fell off the mountain. Why? Because they weren't really working as hard to stay at the top as they worked to get to the top. So you're going to work on your business to get to the top and to stay there. So I wrote the book called Multiple Streams of Income, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. Because if you have a business that you're starting, you don't want multiple streams of income. You want a few really great streams of income so your business can become solid and stable. Remember what happened to Apple? They kicked Steve Jobs out, and then they started adding all these crazy new products. And then one year before they brought him back, they lost a billion dollars because they had too many products. They were focused on too many things. You have to focus your energy on just a few things. And that's exactly what Steve Jobs did when he came back. He canceled all those brand new products and said, let's focus on a few insanely great products. In the very next year, they made $309 million because they were focused. So at the beginning of your business, got to focus. One of the problems of beginning entrepreneurs is they're just too positive. They think they can make their business work. They'll just figure it out, right? And they start to ignore the new data, the things that on the horizon that let them know there might be some problems coming up. For example, there might be negative customer reviews. Why? There might be cost per acquisition is too high. Why? Well, if they're too positive, then they ignore these things and these things start to mushroom and become big problems that could, could kill the business. So you got to make sure that you don't ignore this new data. This says it all, doesn't it? A little Band-Aid and a huge crack because they try to fix the problems with little tiny solutions without understanding what the problem really is. So don't invest a whole bunch of money in brand new equipment or new advertising until you fix the real problem. Band-Aid fixes just don't work. So your business starts to lose money, right? So what do most business people do? They're so penny pinching that they fire the salespeople who are ones who bring the money in the door in the first place or they, they fire the, the few key employees that, that cost a little bit more money but they're the ones who make the business work. You gotta be really careful about the firing of people who are making your business succeed. Maybe you give them a piece of the deal. So they'll fight with you to make this ship stay afloat. Money tightens, employees leave. Employees are the lifeblood of your business. Once your key leaders and top performers leave, your business is not likely to recover quickly. Pay your employees what they're worth and offer raises before they jump ship to a new job. If they don't make the company money, they shouldn't be hired in the first place. If your business is losing money, your employees are the solution. They know exactly what's working in your business. So bring them in, give them an incentive, maybe give them a piece of the deal. Help them survive with the business so they can succeed with the business and you can become a successful business owner. You know, we've been talking about business and one of the reasons that businesses fail is because they run out of money. Well, this book talks about how I taught some ordinary people who had no money to start a business with no money and succeeded extremely well. It teaches the mindset of what you need in order to make your business survive and thrive. So get a free copy of this book, download it, read it. It'll teach you exactly what you need to do to be a successful business person. Hey, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and click on the link down below and watch the next video. Good stuff in that one.